Well, talking about uh, building up for the future and uh, making sure these kids are getting good development, the one thing that we're really excited about to be working at, uh, with, working with EPA at HESN is is the big combine EFC three coming up on November eleventh. I wanted to ask you to fill in all the listeners on the details of that and uh, why it's going to be such an ex- exquisite event. Man, EFC three is. Uh, we've been working on this for a long time. By Elite Performance Academy, uh, along with uh, HSN, um, it's going to be a. It's going to be, I think, um, an historic event for Ottawa football. That's what I'm calling it because it's never been done before. Um, it's never been done with the the advanced uh, technology backing it the way that EPA has uh, has invested in. Um, this is sports testing equipment, which which the O uh, the OHL uses, the CFL uses. It's the exact same testing calibrated equipment that that your um, your CIS first round, second round draft picks are running. So you're going to come out of this thing and really get an idea of of what you're running against the guys that are exiting university as number one draft picks. Guys like um, guys like Dwayne. Uh, uh, what was his name? The running back Moore yep. um, from from McMaster yep. that went in the first round as a running back uh, to Montreal. You're going to look at some of these old linemen and what the shuttles they're running um, that come out of Laval year and year after year that are going number one to uh, the CFL as old linemen and having 12 year careers. Uh, it's never been done before. We finally got a location booked. It's going to be at the Sensplex in the indoor field in uh, Canada. Um, it's going to run from 8 to 10 p.m. on Friday, November 11th. So that's really going to be a, an awesome way to finish off the fall football season in Ottawa. It's open to all NACAFA players. It's open to all high school football players. It's open to anyone that played OVFL. Any football player that wants to come test themselves um, professionally by Elite Performance Academy, ranked with coverage from uh, HESN, um, it's it's open and we're we're capping it. Uh, there's been a tremendous uh, outcry and questions about this. We've had a ton of pre-registration, um, and we're we've decided we looked at this logistically, and we're going to have to cap it at 90. So it really gives you a month um, to to get paid, get registered. Um, like I said, I've promoted in the last couple podcasts, the the best deal and the best best uh, way about going it is buying three at a time, and you get a huge discount. So that allows you to gauge your progress throughout the year. That's what uh, I would recommend any serious football player or athlete to do. Uh, everything can be registered and paid for on hsn.co, and uh, all you got to do is show up on November 11th with uh, with basically your training gear, some uh, some cleats. And, uh, and a shirt, workout shirt, and you're going to get tested with the best of the best in the city and see where you stand once and for all. And another one, another thing that we're going to be doing on that event, uh, I'll get you to comment on it quickly, but I'll let everybody know, we are going to be live streaming this event. And we're talking about um, technology that uh, is being used all over the world for lots of different reasons. We're going to be live streaming it. We haven't decided exactly where. We're still working out some of the logistics with the facility and some of our uh, some of our partners online. But it's going to be live streamed, uh, maybe through Facebook, maybe through YouTube. And uh, we're going to start the live stream at 7 o'clock um, it was going to run right from 7 o'clock till 10 p.m. And we're going to have interviews with coaches and players and trainers. And we're going to be bringing you guys a really professional event. And I wanted you to comment on uh, why you think it's so important for HESN to be bringing this, this level of uh, professionalism to this event. Well, you know, I think, I think what football needs in this day and age in, in, in Ottawa is uh, more events that bring the whole community together. Um, Championship week is one thing uh, when you get the A Cups, the B Cups, the C Cups throughout the uh, week leading up. And then you've got your All-Star uh, weekend, usually that follows the uh, NACAFA Championship weekend. That also lines up with the Yates Cup, which happens on the Saturday. So depending on uh, how Ottawa U finishes off the season, how Carlton goes, um, who knows where this Yates Cup will be hosted this year. But we've kind of packaged this uh, this two weeks with the championships and then the Friday night coming out coming out to the uh, Bell Sensplex in Canada and having a real professional football combine where we're we're really encouraging parents and and coaches from around the city at all different levels. They're going to have a little VIP uh, screening area where they can really evaluate the talent that we have here in Ottawa and 
Uh, we want to bring exposure to the kids that are really, really uh, dedicated to the sport, the coaches that are dedicated to the sport. We want to evaluate and encourage the uh, the young players out there. And we want to also give them uh, baselines for their development. I mean, uh, if you really want to hear uh, somebody articulate it very well, Donnie Ruiz from Elite Performance Academy in podcast number eight talked about it with you, Tyler. And uh, I thought that was a great interview you guys did where he, uh, he breaks down all the advantages of, of looking at, at um, yourself seriously, not just from a, from a physicality standpoint, but from a, a standpoint of comparing yourself to your peers in your position and your age uh, and your, your age pairings. So uh, usually a U15, U17 sort of thing. And, um, um, and also uh, being able to build from there moving forward. So uh, that... This has never been done for it's done before. It's a historic event, and we're looking for everyone to come out and support this thing and get a glimpse of what I think is uh, setting the tone for the next ten years of football in Ottawa. I think it really is, and uh, I cannot wait to be part of this EFC three. And uh, I want to thank you for coming on the HSN podcast. Uh, another great episode here.